welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to create this look for you guys this look was inspired by Libra since it is currently Libra season fun fact my husband and my sister both share the same exact birthday and they're both Libras the symbol for Libra are the scales so that is why I am literally wearing scales on my ears for you guys this look is part of my birth sign series here on my channel. I will list the other videos in this series down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is 100% free, just letting you know. So click that subscribe button. Anyways, if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so first we're going to start off with the brows. I'm taking this MAC Brown Brow Pencil in Lingering and filling in my brows and then setting that down with my Brow Gal Tinted Brow Gel in the shade number 02. Next, I'm cleaning up my brows with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. And I'm also going to go ahead and prime my lids with this as well. And then set it down with this Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Creme Brulee. Now I'm going to dip into my beautiful Morphe 35R palette and apply these two medium brown shades into my crease. Then I'm taking this incredible gold shade with my finger and patting it all over my lids. And here I'm taking that same brush that I used before and with no extra product I'm just buffing out any harsh edges. Next I'm taking those same two shades that we placed in the crease and I'm applying that to the lower lash line. Then I'm going to darken the outer corners with this deeper brown shade but I'm being more precise with my placement and I'm also dragging this shade down to the outer bottom lash line as well. Next I'm taking this Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati by Artist Couture and highlighting my inner corners, brow bone and I'm also applying a little bit right on the center of my lids. To line my waterline and tightline I'm using this dark brown eye pencil by Jante Bleu. Since I did not have my own dark brown gel liner, I decided to create my own custom one by mixing these three deep brown shadows with my Inglot Duraline. And I'm just creating a small wing. Next, I'm just curling my lashes and applying some Butter London Double Decker Mascara. I felt that the look needed a little bit more glitter, of course, so I took my NYX Crystal Gold Liner and dabbed some of it all over my lids and inner corners. Moving on to the face, I'm starting with this Becca Backlight Primer Filter. And for foundation, I'm mixing together my Milani Conceal & Perfect Foundation in Warm Beige with this Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. And when applying foundation, I first go in with a brush for maximum coverage and then I go back in with a beauty sponge to blend out any brush strokes. For concealer, I'm of course using my Tarte Shape Tape again and then setting it down with this Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder. To set down the rest of my face, I'm using this Physicians Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. To contour my face, I'm going in with this Pure Cosmetics Sculptor Palette and I also decided to slightly bake my face with the Ofra Banana Powder as well. For blush, I'm using the Physicians Formula Blush in Lushing Natural. For some extra drama, I decided to pop on these Ardell Lashes in the style number 415. Then for the lips, I decided to go with this Milani Metallic Liquid Lipstick in the shade Materialistic. And then right in the center of the lips, I popped on that same gold shadow we used on our lids. To highlight my face, I first went in with Ofra's Rodeo Drive Highlighter. And then with a more precise brush, I applied the Illuminati Diamond Glow Powder onto the high points of my face. And finally, to melt the whole look together, I applied my Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!